Hey everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I regularly have videos and Facebook Live showing you what I've been working on in my craft room here in Arizona. And today, um, I'm going to show you some cards made with a brand new bundle from Stampin' Up's brand new 2023-2024 annual catalog. It's the Beautiful Balloons Bundle. So I will be making um, one card sample and then at the end, I'll show you a handful of others that I've created with this same bundle. Um, perfect for birthdays for sure and um, also graduation. So anyway, let me pop you down to my crafting space and we'll get started. Just to show you uh, the where you can find this in the annual catalog uh, on page, beginning on page 14 through page 15, uh, it shows all of the elements um, that are included. And so that does include the beautiful balloons stamp set. It's a photopolymer set, clear see-through, enabling you to do that two-step stamping um, where you can um, stamp right on top of one another and see through that. Also, the other fun pieces are the coordinating dies. Um, you'll see balloons that outline the balloons in the stamp set. You'll see stars, um, a tag with some confetti, some other balloons, and then um, a balloon trio that would make a really good um, base for a shaker card. Another element of this suite is the um, Bright and Beautiful 6x6 Designer Series paper. I have pulled out a few of the sheets just to show you um, quickly. You may have seen this. If not, um, these are the fun, um, all the different sheets you can use. I didn't pull them all out. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek at some of my faves, some of the designs I've been using in the cards and you'll see those as I show the samples. Um, the, this is really fun. The colors in there, you know, did you, I'm sure you know, you the six by six designer series paper on the back, it tells us what the coordinating colors are. So we have Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pretty Peacock. Now all of those look like um, brand new and returning um, core colors. So um, grab this pack, lots of fun um, along with the new um, ink pads. So um, I think then we can get started. Um, with our card for the day. And this is the card, we made this in class last week. Um, so you'll see um, the lemon lime twist, the blueberry bushel, and the berry burst. We're going to be using a different, I can see this isn't the, um, we're also going to be using a piece of the Vellum Basics 12 by 12 specialty paper with the dots on it. So let me just move this aside and I will show you, we can probably leave that over here while I show you the elements that we're using. I've already um, stamped and die cut one of the balloons in blueberry bushel. We have the tag from um, the tags dies. The, this is long enough for what I wanted to do, so the, I did not use the one from the die cut set. This is using a piece of the designer series paper, and this is little fringe, and you may be wondering, how in the world did I get that little fringe? And um, that's this piece right here. So it's a fun little piece. You cut your cards, your die, your, your cardstock or your designer series paper, you position it, on the die on your die cutting machine like so, and then run it through. You want to be sure that um, that you position it here so it will cut. Otherwise, you can just trim it with the trimmer to give you that um, that fringe look. And that measures three um, 
by one, a little over one inch. And then, like I mentioned, I have this um, Vellum Basics Designer Series, or the Vellum, yeah, it's Designer Series paper, measuring three and a half um, by four and three quarters. I have a, a white measuring, let's do that, five by three and three quarters that will layer like so five and a quarter by four on the blueberry bushel and then we have the lemon lime twist for the card base and that will all go on there so let me show you how that goes together quickly and easily seems to be a lot of elements but we did have we did have fun in class putting it together um, you will need your stamp and pierce mat just because the balloons are um, very, um, they're solid. So you want to get a good image with that. Um, actually, in two, I don't want to get my mat all inky because then it'll get on my paper and I'll have a mess everywhere. And we all know how the mess is. All right. So I am going to be stamping the balloons onto our whisper or whisper basic white sheet. Um, and because a lot of it's going to be covered up with the tag, don't worry too much if the balloons aren't in exactly the right spot. And um, sometimes I get them where I really want them and sometimes I don't. So just be, be gentle, be kind to yourself. Um, and if you don't like what you get, turn it over. But once you get this tag on there, you'll see that it just really doesn't matter. So I did start with the blueberry bushel. Um, I'm going to ink up that balloon, big solid. And I do want it to go up here in the corner, right about there. And then I am going to um, another one right down here. Um, you'll want to give, um, once you press down like evenly and firmly and give it a good press, let that ink soak into the paper. All right. So that's that one. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to bring in my stampin, not my, I'm going to, my, um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of the name of this? It's, it's a stamp cleaner. It's, I'll think of it, but it's my chamois. It's my Simply Chamois. Get that cleaned off. Nice. Um, they don't come in these little stamp cases, but they're sure nice to use in there. All right. The next color, we will do the Berry Burst. All right. Let's grab the Berry Burst. Make sure those ink pads get closed. Make these brand new ones open like a compact. So let's see. Give it a good, you can always practice on your grid paper if you need to. I'm gonna put this one up here in the corner and down in that corner. Again, let's clean it off so we don't get the ink pads all icky. So that's over to the side here. Wiggle the camera a little bit. And um, oftentimes I try to start with the lighter color first. So if I get any ink on the ink pad, that's fine. And I also try to wear black clothes just in case I need to wipe off any ink. So there's our lemon lime twist. Um, and it appears I've left some room. Oops, let's see. I need one, sorry about my hand, left-handed here, one balloon in this little space right here. And of course you can use any color combination you want and you can put the balloons anywhere you want too. So it's, it's your card, but this kind of gives you um, an idea of what we're up to. You can kind of create, create your own background designer series paper like that. Um, while we're stamping, let's get our um, sentiment, the happy birthday from, um, from the set. I'm gonna move this out of our way. Uh, we, we might as well um, leave that. So if you remember the card, 
I'm going to want to stamp the happy birthday on the right hand side of that tag so that it leaves some room for the balloon. All right, all right, happy birthday. That comes in the set. The practice right here. I might need to re-ink. I've used, um, I've used my berry burst a ton. I'm loving these colors that have come back into our repertoire. All right, so that's where we're good there. Okay. From here, before we start to get our card um, put together, um, it's probably best to work on the tag. So I have this fun lemon lime twist ribbon. Um, I'm going to snip off maybe four inches. Um, and then you fold that ribbon in half. And um, from the front of the tag, you just slip, you slip that through the hole, that end there. Maybe I didn't leave myself enough room, but I want to grab these little tails and pull them through. Let's see if I can do my big fumbly fingers full of ink and pull that through just to, there we go. And then I can uh, give that a little trim. Okay. Um, then I think I will um, add this. So this is our fringe that goes right here on the bottom. It fits perfectly. So I am going to put my adhesive um, right here on this little, nope, I'm not. That's not where I want it. I want it on the front and I'll show you why. I even fooled myself during class. Everyone says, what, you want it on the front? Yep, I do. Um, and then of course I glue it to the, to the grid paper, but I'm just gonna grab my little mat here and this always helps if you don't have one of these. It helps so that if you make a mistake like I just did, um, your adhesive doesn't stick to the sheet. Then I'm just going to put the tag right on top of it like so. So we're all, all ready with the little fringe piece there. Let me move that aside and we'll get to the um, assembly of the card. So we'll just work from the bottom up. This is our lemon lime twist base, which is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I'm going to put the blueberry bushel five and a quarter by four on top of that. Um, be sure to check my blog, kimblazewithpaper.com, and um, you'll see these samples on there as well. Oops, man. And there's a little border around all of there, and to the best of my ability, I'm going to put it there. All right. And then our balloons can go on next with my stamp and seal plus. And the grid paper is awesome. It can help you practice. It can help you um, get not get your table dirty and get things on straight. All right. So sometimes with vellum, we wonder well, how are we going to put that vellum on without being able to see the adhesive. There are lots of tricks, but this is this is my solution for this one. I'm just going to put my adhesive on the back of that tag without putting this, um, adhering the vellum quite yet. And where do I want it? So you can use that this opportunity to move it anywhere you want. And as you can see is that you could, um, you'll cover up some of the balloons, but not all of them. And from there, then you can put the adhesive on the back here um, and it will have enough adhesive where it's not gonna go anywhere. So, and you could also pop that up with dimensionals if you wanted to. Then our last little bit is I will pop the balloon up. Remember, I pre-stamped and die cut that in blueberry bushel ink. 
I really like that one. Of course, I love blues. So I have a little piece of white baker's twine. And I'm going to make a little bunny ear bow real quick just to add some more. I know we have ribbon on there already, but I think the balloon looks kind of naked and or lonely. And so I wanted to add um, something else to that. All right. Where here are my glue dots? I'm going to just you roll up a little glue dot with my finger, put it the glue dot on the back of that knot, and it goes right here. Then you can mess with that bow as you like. We'll trim up the excess ribbon. Oops, don't want to get that. And then, of course, we have our um. You could always stamp the inside so that, uh, but this will leave you plenty of room uh, to write a message. Sometimes when I get the video, I start to get carried away and I forget to do the envelope and the inside, but that, that is that a birthday card. Um, fun, cheery, bright, Perfect for any age, male or female, I think. I hope you think so too. Um, let me then just bring in some of the other designs that I've made with this um, collection of products. Uh, I've made this um, envelope fun fold. I think it's time for a celebration. This uses the six uh, bright and beautiful six by six designer series paper. Um, one of the new colors, Bubble Bath, with Berry Burst and the Cane Weave 3D Embossing Folder. This is an envelope fun fold. There is another video and a post on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com if you want to find the measurements and directions for creating that birthday card. Uh, you're kind of using the same color scheme. The Bubble Bath, the Berry Burst, and the little piece of designer series paper. This is a basics 3D embossing folder. Find that as an online exclusive. You won't find it in the catalog as this this lovely silver ribbon, silver and gold together. So another quick, easy birthday card there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I was continuing this. I had all these colors out. So um, I did the birthday. This is the two-step stamping where you stamp the balloon first, then you can put the sentiment on, and then I put the little confetti inside the balloons using a little piece of that designer series paper. I think it's time for a celebration, and then I use dimensionals to pop up um, that panel there. Super fun. This one's just really easy. Um, so if you needed a lot of cards in a hurry, this uses the stitched with whimsy, um, die to make that fun little border. This is, um, I think, Azure Afternoon and Blueberry Bushel. And then this is a piece of just the designer series paper um, there as well. I think it's time for a celebration. So it's a, is it a birthday? It could, it could be, um, this is your school colors. It could be a graduation card, anything you want. Um, Another birthday card. You may have seen this. Um, there's a tutorial on my blog, so look for that. Um, and then coming up, there will be a tutorial for this card as well, and you can see the fringe. And I did mention that I thought um, this set is good for graduation. This is a, a card from last week's blog and um, YouTube and live video. Uh, the difference here is that we did add the um, Gold Celebrations Specialty Designer Series paper. So if you need help finding any of those tutorials and blog posts, let me know. But thank you so much for joining me today as we created a birthday card using some brand new products from Stampin' Up's annual catalog. It's a fun one. Um, lots of new things to 
um, use to create handmade cards for the people in your life. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today, for commenting, for watching, um, liking, sharing. I appreciate all that. Be sure to subscribe so you know when I have a new video. Again, look for me at uh, kimplayswithpaper.com. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.